Hey everybody, welcome in. I hope you're all doing really well. This is The Connected Conduit. My name's Amanda. I'm an evidential psychic medium, a healer, a channel for the divine. And I'm gonna open up and receive messages today for your greatest and highest good. They may or they may not resonate with you um, because this is a general reading. It's not a one-to-one, -one, okay? So only accept what makes sense to you and then just leave the rest for someone else. Okay. I like to write down what I channel just so I don't forget. Ah, okay, right off the hop, I'm getting dream big, dear one. And I'm feeling really emotional. Okay, there's a lot coming up. There's a lot of emotions coming up for you right now. Um, or maybe you have been finding that, you know, recently in the recent past, you know, you've been purging, processing a lot of things, things from your past. Um, what I'm getting is certain things that you thought you had like healed from and moved on from are actually resurfacing. Mm -hmm. They're resurfacing and you're having to um, look at them again. And some of you are mad. You're like, why is this coming up again, spirit? I just saw 111 on the timestamp. Okay. Um, yeah, you could be feeling kind of irritated right now or just needing some time by yourself to withdraw and just process. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the words determined to succeed, okay? You are determined to succeed. And I'm, I'm seeing that your path is paved with gold. It is. Your path is paved with gold. I'm hearing generational wealth. I'm hearing love and then I'm hearing little one, little one. Now, this could be a nickname that somebody calls you or called you when you were a little girl, a little boy. They could have called you little one. Or this is something that you say to children or to your own child. Or they're saying that you might be welcoming a baby, a little one into the world or this could also just be like the divine mother coming through. Okay, sending you her love, support, calling you her child, little one. I'm seeing the color green. Okay, green is the heart chakra. There's been a lot of heart chakra healing for you. You've been through a lot of, of difficult times that affected your heart, past betrayals, loss, lessons. Okay, I'm hearing lessons. I'm seeing the Ace of Wands and it's on fire. Okay, so there is like some sort of passion or inspiration that you are about to discover or you have discovered and it's going to be something that you um, are so passionate about so that you're going to go for it you're going to pick up that wand of inspiration and you're going to do whatever it takes to succeed with this because um yeah passion project passion project is what i'm seeing now Oh my gosh, for some of you, your parents don't approve. Your parents don't approve and you're having to stand your ground. You're having to um, assert yourself. You're having to just say, well, it's my life, not yours. Um, and of course, you know, that can be more difficult depending on which culture you come from. Um, like I know, you know, out here, <laughs> Um, where I'm from, it's it's a little bit easier to go up against your parents to challenge them. But I know in other countries and other cultures, it's a bit more difficult. It's a lot more frowned upon. Um, so I guess it depends what part of the world you're from, what culture you come from. Look what's on the bottom, the lovers. 
The Lovers is about making a choice from the heart, and this is what I feel like you're doing. Um, you're making decisions from the, the heart. You're following your passions. Okay, in this card, there's a lot of green, and I saw the color green before we started here. So again, more confirmation that you've been healing the heart chakra. And love is coming in. Love is coming in, whether this is love for self, love for a career, or love for a person, a special someone in your life. A best friend, a soulmate. Many of you have overcome addictions, okay? Some of you watching have overcome addictions. What's this? Patience, the healing angel, temperance. This has been a path of healing. They're also just coming through with a little reminder that good things, like things, um, great things are worth waiting for. You know, kind of like that Rome wasn't built in a day or transformation takes time change takes time remember when things grow slowly they have a more stable energy when something happens very quickly and very suddenly it's we like it our ego likes it because we like things now right we want it we want it now and sometimes it's hard to wait <laughs> um, but when we get things immediately with that fast energy, sometimes what comes in quickly can also leave just as fast. So they're saying, we know that you're at the end of your rope. We know that you're starting to maybe lose patience here with the process, but it's gonna be worth the wait. It's gonna be worth the wait. At the end of the day, you will see. So dream big. I'm also getting from this, um, this little seed here in her hand. And then of course it's growing and blooming. So I'm getting this sort of resurfacing energy coming up, like things that maybe were buried are coming back up for you, resurfacing. Your path is paved with gold. Truth, judgment. Wow. This is a whole new life for you. A whole new life. You're ascending spiritually. Your vibration is rising. You have a calling. You have a purpose here. A mission. So that's why they're saying dream big. You're discovering what your soul's purpose is, your, your mission, your, your life's purpose, something like this. It may have taken you a long time to figure this out. For some of you, you could be later on in life, right? More mature. And you're just discovering your life's purpose now. I hear sirens in the background. That's confirmation. It's also a sign that things are picking up. Okay, there's going to be more action happening. Hope, the star card, healing, yes. You're meant to be some sort of a star. You're meant to be in the spotlight. You could have healing powers or a healing energy about you. They want you to shoot for the stars. Aim for the stars because it's completely possible for you if that's what you want so they're saying dream big dream big your life is being aligned with amazing things at this time there may have been times where you felt like you lost hope or there was no hope You were starting to lose hope. 
because things were taking so long. But your faith, your faith and your determination and your perseverance is going to pay off. Your patience will pay off. I also feel with this card too, the divine is like bringing in some sort of a miracle or some sort of an offer, some sort of an opportunity here. Um, that's going to change your life. You could have been wishing, hoping, praying recently. You could have been, you know, staying up in the evening, looking out your window or going out for evening walks, looking up at the stars and praying, praying for a sign, praying for help, praying for assistance, praying for clarity, understanding, direction, you know, like, who am I? Where am I going? What am I doing? Like, is this ever going to happen? Like, what's going on? Okay, so I just feel like you've been reaching out and spirit wants you to know that they've heard everything the universe hears everything knows everything okay they know your darkest secret and your deepest desires oh my god you guys it's the ace of wands yeah so you know how i channeled out that i saw the ace of wands in my third eye and um here it is okay so that's clarified there's something that's going to just like light you on fire okay it's going to light your soul on fire you're going to be so excited to do this it's a passion project um it fills you with so much joy love energy all the good feels okay so to me with the patience card and the ace of wands it's like this is you absolutely determined to succeed you are going you have the patience you have what it takes to steadily pursue your passions this is a whole new life for you though. So <clears throat> just another reminder from spirit saying that when you completely shift and transform, it's kind of like a big deal. And <laughs> remember that you need to take it easy on yourself, like go easy on yourself, be kind, be gentle, um, mother yourself. And remember that these things do take time, okay? They do. And what you're doing is kind of a big deal. So remember how awesome and amazing you are. And sometimes it seems like there's no progress being made or that nothing has really shifted. But if you actually take the time to look back, you will see how much you've actually changed, how much your life is completely different, even like from like a year ago to now. And with the healing card here as well, that's, yeah, for some of you watching, you have, you've overcome some sort of addiction, whether that's alcohol, drugs, codependency, um, money. Some people can be like addicted to money or material things. Six of Wands, victory and success. Yeah. You're on the path to success. Your, your path is paved with gold. Um, you've had a victory over some sort of challenge. Not just one challenge, but many challenges, you guys. The Six of Wands is about you standing out from the crowd. It's like your head's above the rest. It can symbolize you receiving some sort of a promotion, upgrades, the next level. I'm also getting that you finally realized some sort of truth here. You finally realized who you are at a soul level. And if you haven't, if you're still like asking the universe to send you a sign, you're going to get it. You're going to figure this out soon. Your soul's truth is coming to the surface. It's, it's about to be revealed to you if you're not certain 
what that is because I feel like I'm picking up on somebody here who's always really struggled with like fitting in or knowing where you belong or understanding like why you're here because it's like you've never felt fully content or happy with where you're at and your soul has always been pulling you calling you in another direction but it's like maybe you felt confused like you didn't know what path to choose or where to go um and you're like, I know I meant for something more, but I don't know what that is. And it's driving me crazy. Why can't I figure that out? So if that's you, you're about to figure it out. Okay. You're about to get the sign that you need. You're about to stumble upon something that's going to point you in the right direction. A discovery. So keep following the little breadcrumb trail that spirit is leaving for you. Okay. Okay. Follow the signs, follow the synchronicities, right? Because spirit can help you discover it, but they're not going to tell you. They're not going to come right out with the answer. Nobody will. That's That has to be your discovery. They're going to lead you. They can lead you and drop little hints, but they're not going to come out and be like, oh yeah, your life's mission is to be a light worker. There you go. No, that's not how it works, unfortunately. <laughs> we have to remember. We have to remember why we came. And I'm getting that song, what you came for, what you, what you came for, what you came for. It's, I don't know, it's like a rap song or something. And that's all I'm getting, what you came for. So you're, you're trying to figure out what, like what you came for. Why are you here? What's your mission? What's your purpose? It's everybody's mission essentially is to figure out why why they like reincarnated here because we're we're born with like a sense of amnesia and we need to wake up and remember when the time is right Ooh, nine of cups fulfillment of wishes because you are dreaming big and you're staying aligned okay you're keeping the faith you're keeping hope alive you're determined to succeed you're being aligned with your wish fulfillment here. You're going to get everything you wanted. Wow. This is coming in after a period of um, delay. I just saw the sun and judgment, which is you like waking up to your soul's purpose. Oh, you're going to feel such a sense of relief. You're going to be like, that's it. That's what I meant to do. We have the six of swords. Yeah, a sense of relief. Like you can finally breathe. You're, it's like spirit. The six of swords to me as a reader, it symbolizes spirit pulling you to shore pulling you to calmer waters. I just saw 1818. Out of choppy waters into smoother waters. It's it's like peaceful days ahead. It also symbolizes you following the breadcrumb trail that spirit is leaving for you. Because they they are they're trying to get you to come out of like a difficult time into more peaceful days. The Queen of Swords. You could have, have like a life's purpose that involves speaking, communication. You could be a channel, a medium, a psychic, okay? Because the Queen of Swords also, excuse me, you guys, I have a bit of a cold. I'm getting a bit stuffy. Um, she has her sword raised to the divine, right? Like a channel. And she's receiving inf information that's coming out of the ethers, Okay. You could be a police officer or a lawyer or a counselor, a teacher, a singer, a songwriter. Anything where you use your voice, an advocate, a tarot card reader, nine of pentacles, whatever this is, I'm telling you, it's your path is paved with gold and it's all for you. The nine of pentacles, you guys, your path is paved with gold. There you go. There's you and there's your golden path. And it's yours and yours alone. Like you are going to earn this and then you get to keep it. 
No one's going to take it from you. The Ten of Cups. <laughs> Your path is paved with gold. You are headed towards wish fulfillment, your dream life, everything you ever wanted. You're going to be so happy, content, successful, your dream life. That's why spirit's saying dream big, because look, you're going to get it. So please dream big so that you can manifest that. Don't play small. Stop playing small. Play big. Okay, go big or go home. Now or never. Let's do this. Mm, get fired up. Okay, yeah, transformation, the death card. Big, big changes, you guys. This is coming in for you because you had the guts to change your life, to change yourself. Yeah, the five of swords. You had the guts to walk away from situations that weren't serving you. You had the the guts to heal yourself from lower vibrational frequencies. So you're moving away from this five of swords energy because we're going from five of swords to the six of swords. Narcissistic people, self-sabotaging behaviors, winning at all costs. Um, you may have had a parent, okay, a parent who displayed narcissistic qualities or was a narcissist. Okay, for me, the Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords can often denote like, um, yeah, like a narcissistic mom. Um, right, so this could be the parent that doesn't approve of what you're doing. And you guys are arguing. There's conflict. There's... mean words being said okay control this person could be trying to control you but this is what you're moving away from okay They're, this person's not going to stop you i just heard they have no idea what you're made of this person has no idea what you're made of they have no idea who you are at a soul level this person i feel like never saw you they don't see you. They don't see you at a soul level. They don't, this is somebody who might even be like your mom who just never, they don't, I don't know. They just don't even know their own child. Okay. It's like, mom, how can you not even know me? It's been like, you've known me my whole life. You gave birth to me and you still don't get me. You don't get me. You don't see me. You don't validate who I am at a soul level. Um, it's like that. It's really, it's sad. It's sad and it's frustrating. And if it's not a mom, it could be, it could be anybody in your life, okay, who has a bit of like power, okay, a position of power over you, or they think they have a position of power over you. This could be a friend, a boss, a coworker, a sibling, an aunt, an uncle. Just take it how it resonates, you guys. We have the King of Pentacles coming out. You guys, look at all this stability. Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. You're going to be sitting pretty. Mm -hmm. You really are. Stability, security, no money troubles. And like I said before, it's yours. And you're going to take this money and you're going to build your castle. You're going to be able to, for some of you, you want your own house and you're going to have it. Okay. Your fridge is going to be overflowing with food. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. Like you're going to have fruit out on your counter. All right. Um, the kids are playing in the backyard. You've got a garden. There's love, laughter, stability, and it's just beautiful. Like there's something about grapes. You might love grapes or I'm seeing grapes like a, a in a bowl, like out on somebody's counter. Okay. So, I mean, that to me just symbolizes like abundance and like things are about to get rich and juicy and abundant and delightful. Okay. Because I'm, 
Now I'm seeing someone like bite into a grape and it like bursts, you know what I mean? And all this yummy, delicious juice is just flowing. And, and it's just, it's symbolic, you guys, of like the fruits of your labor. The fruits of your labor are finally coming in and you're going to be able to enjoy them. For some of you, you may have a king of pentacles, male or female, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming into your life. They don't have to be an earth sign. It's more so what the earth sign represents, which is stability. Stability. Honor. Loyalty. The king of Pent pentacles is a hard worker. Very steady. page of wands <laughs> okay so this is you picking up your stick of inspiration this is you picking up the ace of wands and running with it you're going to do something with your passions here so whatever you do Stay true to you, stay true to your heart, stay true to what lights you up, whatever lights your soul on fire, whatever gets you going, whatever excites you, whatever fulfills you is what you should be doing, regardless of what some people may say, right? It's not their life, it's your life. You came here to live life for you. The tower. <sighs> some of you are recovering from some sort of tower moment that happened in your life, you guys. Some sort of sudden drastic major change okay that caused quite an quite an upset you could have lost a relationship a marriage a job something like this you could have been uprooted and had to move locations very quickly and um whatever it is for you is going to be different for all of you you guys it, you're recovering from this it's like you needed time to rest repair recover meditate just like time out the four of swords is like time out i need a break okay and it's because you've been through something massive massive with the tower i also just got the download you guys that you're going to receive shocking amazing information when you're in meditation and it, it's to do with your your soul's purpose so if you do not have a meditative practice it is imperative that you that you start one okay imperative i always recommend this to everybody to have a spiritual practice even if it's sitting in silence for five minutes a day before bed because some sort of information sudden shocking information that's going to help enlighten you is going to come in through the crown chakra while you are in meditation and it's going to help lead you in the right direction it's going to help propel you in the right direction and put you on the right path so that you can keep following those breadcrumbs from spirit okay and as i talk about breadcrumbs look look at this man sprinkling breadcrumbs into this beggar's hands spirit is trying to come through with something Okay, now they're not going to give you the answer, but they're going to give you some sort of inspiration, some sort of idea, some sort of download that is going to lead you in the right direction, right? It's breadcrumb, breadcrumb trail, just like from Hansel and Gretel. I think it's Hansel and Gretel. Anyways, um, that's confirmed, okay? Yeah, it's going to lead you to your happiness, your, your bliss, your abundance, your joy, your prosperity. Okay? I'm going to get a spirit animal for you. You're moving away.
away from people that didn't treat you right or jobs that just were unfulfilling for you. Oof. You had someone who was taking, taking from you. Lizard. Lizard. That's pretty. Yellow, solar plexus chakra, confidence, willpower, right? You're determined. And it looks like there's some red in here. Root chakra, having your basic needs met, feeling safe, secure. And I also see some purple in here, which is linked to the crown. And I feel like they're, they're working on your crown right now, or you're being asked to work on your crown or sit in meditation so they can work on your crown. Lizard, intellectual, sensitive to subtle, dreamer, dream big. The lizard is an expert in the realm of sensory perception. As if it has a sixth sense, the lizard hears what is yet to be spoken and sees what is yet to manifest. Although this is an amazing gift, it can easily wear the lizard down. Big crowds, lots of travel, or overstimulation will drain a lizard of their magical essence. This card is an indication to pull back from the bright lights and the big city and return to the inner artist who's been whispering your name. When in balance, artistic, telepathic, spiritual. When out of balance, elusive, non-committal, flaky. To bring back into balance, a creative project. You can't make it up. You just can't. It literally says a creative project. Right here. Look at it. Okay, so, okay, I channeled out a passion project. Then we got the Page of Wands, the Ace of Wands. So go for that. Go for that because that's going to bring you back into balance. Um, and it's interesting with the Six of Swords here because you could actually be traveling over water. Maybe you're moving out of the city into the country for a bit or you're going on a little vacation Okay, um, and that's really good. That's going to be good for you. Really, really good for you. Now, yes, and with the Queen of Swords, you know, I was getting that, that you were some sort of channel, right? That you, you can receive information from the ethers, and that's part of um, telepathy, right? So you could have very, very um, strong, clear audience, clear hearing, Okay. So sitting in meditation is going to help you develop your clairs. And you can ask your spirit team to come in and develop you. You can ask them to come in and work on you, work on your clairs, work on your telepathic abilities, work on your crown chakra, whatever. Or you can give them permission to work on whatever they feel would be for your greatest and highest good. And then you're going to feel them. You're going to feel them in your in your space and you can feel that they're making adjustments on you okay it'll be very subtle but apparently you can pick up on subtleties right you have very good sensory perception here and you you obviously have some sort of a sixth sense right so you can see things before they manifest you're a master manifester. So that's why they came through saying dream big because you are going to manifest it. You will. So dream your dream even bigger. Like go ahead, right? Like knock it out of the park. If you're going to dream, dream big, right? It's coming in for you. And yeah, if, if things have been really busy and noisy and nonstop, they're, they're asking you to find some quiet time, some space, turn out the lights, turn off your phone, turn off the TV, turn off the music, 
go out into nature, whatever you need to do, turn off the noise. The external stimuli needs to be shut down so that you can hear the information that needs to come in. All right, you guys. Um, beautiful. I'm going to get another oracle for you here. Deep replenishment, deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. Okay, so there is definitely a major message coming through here saying that um, for starters, spirits leading you to calmer, peaceful days where you can rest and recharge. They're leading you away from conflict. And if you're being called to book a vacation, take some time off, or like I was just saying before, like just shut everything off, like shut off your devices and just sit with yourself for a little while, then that's definitely going to be beneficial for you. Okay, because there is a need here to relax, rest, retreat. Maybe you, you do need to get away from the city and into the country for a bit where it's quieter, where there's less lights, there's less stimuli, because you could be feeling quite frazzled from all of the um, the sensory stuff, okay? You're obviously very um, sensitive to that. And it could be overwhelming you to the point where you feel exhausted, bombarded, overwhelmed, frazzled pulled in a million directions, um, even a bit of anxiety or like you can't organize your thoughts. Okay, so get grounded, get grounded, spend time in nature as well. Water could be really beneficial for you. Some of you, I feel like you want to go to like Arizona or something where there's like cacti and succulents and things like that, you know? where there's like lizards. Yeah, ooh, thank you, yeah. So lizards and cacti could be resonant for you. Maybe you live in Arizona or I don't know, Mexico or something. Um, or maybe you're being called to go there and that's your confirmation. I'm just gonna pull one more for you. Yeah, because I was picking up on irritation as well. So this overstimuli could be a bit too much for you right now. Your past supports your future. Your past supports your future. How beautiful is that? It's an 11, you guys. So you know how I, at the beginning, I was channeling the number 111? We have 11 out. So new beginnings, fresh starts, things coming into balance. Um, you're going to take the lessons that you learned from your past and you're going to use them moving forward. Okay, so you're going, going to use the difficult times as like empowerment. I'm also noticing that there's a lot of pinks and purples in here, which is linked to the third eye and the crown. So your third eye and your crown are developing and growing at this time quite substantially. And that's, yeah, that's why the message just keeps coming through about having a spiritual practice, okay? Because it's going to help you ground your energy and develop so that you can step into your soul's purpose. You're very intuitive, very intuitive. I feel like I'm speaking to some sort of a high priestess here, okay? High priest or high priestess. Anything else that wants to come through?
you're on the right trajectory. That's what I just heard. Like your, your aim is right. Like what you've been envisioning or thinking about or planning for, they're saying like, yes, that's like the right trajectory. Like keep going on that. Anything else? I feel like just getting one more. Um, this one. Guardian protection relationship courts are you guided to provide safety encouragement and support to those in need step into your role as a guardian be an advocate on behalf of a child elder or someone with mental or physical challenges help others meet their needs when they cannot do so for themselves you guys, I did say advocate with the Queen of Swords. So some of you may be um, yeah, called to do social work or advocate for um, vulnerable people in society, like elderly people or children. Your affirmation is, I easily adapt and help those dealing with life challenges. I assist people who are in need. I honor and aid children, elders, and those in need. That's beautiful. Wow. And I'm getting goosebumps all the way up my legs, you guys. So this is an affirmation for somebody out there. And now you don't have to do this as your life's purpose or it doesn't have to be like your career. I mean, we can just go out and about our day and assist people. Right? Maybe you want to volunteer volunteer with kids or the elderly at a hospice okay in courts it's called relationship courts but I've never heard of that type of courts before but I know there's a lot of t different types of courts out there so um, that's a crystal if you're into crystals or minerals that could be a useful one or just clear quartz Also, you're being guarded and protected, okay, by the divine at this time. As you overcome challenges and addictions, mental health issues, perhaps. Okay. And then we have teacher, teacher. You could be a teacher. You could teach children. You could teach the elderly. Um, you could be some sort of spiritual teacher, spiritual guide, and you're using the lessons that you learned from your past to help people um, who are in similar situations. Okay, but fluorite is coming through. Fluorite. All right, so yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful and all the wonderful, magnificent things. Um, well done on your journey. You're doing great. You've been through a lot. I think you're determined to succeed here. And the, the oh my gosh, I can't speak. The divine is totally leaving you breadcrumbs to follow. Okay, and uh, you're gonna just have this brand new passionate beginning. Your soul is gonna feel alive again, okay? Um, and your path is paved with gold generational wealth and when you follow your heart and your passions it leads to abundance so you're you're being protected because I feel like you are a protector you are a light worker you're here to spread love light wisdom guidance assistance to those in need in whatever form feels good to you and I just saw 44 44 okay so you could be seeing a lot of fours but fours represent like um, angelic assistance, okay? There's a whole lot of angels around you right now. You could be an earth angel. 
whatever you've been through though, it's gonna, it's basically setting you up for success. The challenges, the difficult times have shaped you into the person you are today. And you should be so proud of who you have become and who you are becoming, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this message. All the good vibes, like, share, subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.